Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, and in today's video we have part 14 of our UE4 2D side-scroller tutorial. I know it has been a long time since a new video came out on this series, but I've received a lot of comments from people in the comment sections of all those different videos saying how much it's helped them and how much more they wish I would do in the series, so I'm going to start doing some more of these videos and adding them onto the series that already exists. So, this episode, what we're going to cover is we are going to discuss saving and loading levels in the game, and then we'll expand it to different systems as we add them into the game uh, in other parts of the series. But right now, we're just going to talk about saving and loading levels so that you can have multiple levels your player progresses through in the game and basically create your own little story system if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to try and get you through this as quickly as possible and get you into a saving and loading system that works. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the content folder on the left over here and click new folder. This we're going to call save game. So everything that we deal with that's going to save the game is going to be in this new folder. So in the save game folder, once you click on it and get into it, you're going to want to right click and you're going to want to create a new blueprint. And what you're going to want to do is click on blueprint class and then you're going to want to look for the save game component. So we're going to type in save game. So the object is the save game component right here, and we're going to create one of those. This save game component, you're going to want to name something that you can remember, that's very easy to remember. So for me, I'm going to call it save game YouTube. So I will know that this goes with my YouTube title series that I'm working on here. So if we double click on save game YouTube, all we're going to do in this is we're going to put any variable that we want to access or have access through persistent levels that get saved to the main game file. So for this video, all we're doing is saving level states. So we're going to save those level states in this uh, blueprint file right here. As we progress through different parts of the series, we're going to add things like score or money or total points or whatever we use as our determining factor of a player's progression in the game. We'll also get stored in this. All of our save variables will always be in this, which is why you want to remember the name of it. So first thing you're going to do, compile save. So you make sure that it's saved in your game in case your thing crashes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add variables. So we're only going to have three levels here, so we're going to call them level saved or level complete. I think we're going to go with level blank complete. So let's call it level one complete. And then we're going to add another Boolean variable. So go ahead and click this plus variable. We're going to call it level two complete and add one more for level three complete. So right now we have three levels in the game. Uh, we can add more as we progress. If we wanted to make 10, 15, 20, 30 levels in the game, you would do it all here in this variable menu. Same thing if you wanted to add scores, you would just add a float value for score and it gets saved and adds to your player character and blah, 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 blah. We'll get to that later. So right now, basic system on saving and loading. Make sure to compile and save so this is all updated. And we can go ahead and minimize this for now. All right, so now that we have that all situated, we actually need our three levels to go ahead and progress through. So go to our levels menu that we created earlier over here on our browser, and we're going to go ahead and click on level one, and all we're going to do is duplicate it, call it level two, and we're going to go ahead and duplicate level two and call it level three. So after you've gone ahead and do that, hit Control shift s to save everything that you have going on so far. So now we're going to hop into level two, and it's going to load us into level two, and we need something to tell us that we're in level two, so we're not confused as to what level we're supposed to be on or if we're actually progressing through the game. So all we're going to do for that is we're going to control W this asset right here, I guess, to create a second one, and we're going to move it up. So now we have a wall in front of us for this one for level two. And for level, well, actually we need to move it over a little bit because the spawn's right there and we don't want to interact with the spawn. So we got that. And then for level three, we're going to, so go ahead and control shift S to save everything again. Level three, we're going to hop over here and we're going to raise this one up. So control W to duplicate it, click on it, and drag it up. So now if we go ahead and hit play to try this level, we'll see that we can go ahead and walk into this ramp, jump on top of it, and we have the ledge here. So that's all set. Control shift S to save all of our levels that we've done. All right. Now we have our three levels. The next thing we need to do is head back over to the save game and we need to create an actor. All right. So what we're going to want to do first is go over to the levels menu and move to level one. We want to be on level one for this first thing. So what we're going to do is go over to the save game menu and we're going to go ahead and create an actor. So right click blueprint class actor. The actor we're going to create is going to be called level one load because we're on level one. So it'll be level one. If you want to call it level two load, since it's technically loading level two, call it level two load, whatever will be easiest for you to remember. I'm just going to be able to associate level one load goes with level one. Simple. So double click on level one load. And what we want to do is we want to add a component and the component we want to add is a box collision. So we're going to add that box collision in and we can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to call it box because it doesn't really matter. Compile and save. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a cube to this just so we can see where it is in the level, but we don't need it to be that big. So we're going to scale this cube down. Make sure you hit the lock button over here to lock the scaling. And we're going to scale it down to like a quarter of the size. Additionally, we're also going to make it so that we can pass through it. So to do that, scroll down to the collision presets 
and where it says block all dynamic go ahead and hit no collision so nothing will interact with this and everybody can walk through it and it's all is right was the cosmos now that we have all of that set we're going to go ahead and click on the box and we're going to right click and we're going to add event and we're going to add event on begin overlap that's going to take us to the event graph or click on the event graph to get over there and compile and save so this is where things are going to get a bit more complicated, so I'll try and slow down a little bit so you can see what's actually going on. So when we begin, we want to check to see that the other actor that's being overlapped is actually the 2D side-scroller character we're playing as. So cast to 2D side-scroller character. From here, we need to create a save game object in the name of the save game that we already created back at the very beginning of this video. I know that's confusing. When you see it, it'll make sense. So drag off of this node and hit create save game object. The save game object that we want to use is going to be the save game that we created, so save game YouTube. From here, what we want to do is we want to save this as a variable we can access throughout this saving and loading process. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click this and promote to a variable. That's going to create our variable name, and we're going to call this variable save game YouTube. Once again, whatever you're saving yours as, you can save it as that. Compile and save before you lose your data. And now what we need to do is check and see if a save game exists. So what we're going to do is drag off of this node and type in does save game exist. The slot name for the save game is going to be the save game name that you already created. So mine is save game YouTube. Once again, whatever you are using, make sure you use it. Capitals, everything has to be exact. Everything must be exact for this to work. So save game YouTube. All right, so that's set. And what we want to do is do a branch off of this. So Control B to drop a branch, drag in the conditional, drag in this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add two nodes. The first one's going to be save game to slot, save game to slot. And the next one is going to be load game from slot. So you can kind of imagine what's going to happen here. So let's, let's follow the path here. All right, did the thing overlap it? Is it our player? Yes or no? If it is our player, we're going to create a save game object. It's going to be the save game that we started with earlier. We're going to save that as a variable so we can access it later. Does the save game already exist in this? Yes or no. If the save game does not exist, we're going to create a new save game. If the save game does exist, we're going to load the save game from a slot. Once again, we need to put in the slot name for both of these, so type it in exactly as it is. Save game YouTube. Hindsight, I should have picked something a lot shorter than this, but hey, save game YouTube. Okay, we have those both put in there. So the variable off of this save game to slot is going to be the variable that we created earlier, this save game YouTube. So just go ahead and drag that on in. Compile and save. So that's actually all we have to do for this save game to slot thing. So we're good on that one. We're going to move up to the load game from slot option now. So up here at the load game from slot option, what we're going to want to do is drag off of this and we're going to want to cast to save game YouTube just to make sure that we spelt this right and that it's not making any errors or saving to the wrong spot. From there, we're going to promote this save game to YouTube as a variable once again. So promote that as a variable and we're just going to call it save game YouTube instance. So there we go. Has a different variable name, so it won't get mad at us. Compile and save. Now what we're going to want to do after this is we're going to want to set a variable. So set level one complete. As you can see here, we've successfully gone through all the coding here and pulled off what we want from variables here. So at this point, any other variables that you have in your save game file, you can set at this moment. So the only ones that are there are the three that we have there. So we're going to set level one complete since this is level one. And we're going to say, yes, level one is complete at this point. So basically, this is going to be at the end of the level, this box. When you hit the box, level one is complete, and you're good to do whatever the heck you want to do after that. So compile and save. So now we're not done yet. You've only changed the variable. You haven't saved the change. So what you want to do is grab the save game to slot that we already have. Control C, Control V, and drop it in here. Drag off this node right here, and then go ahead and take the save game object here. We're going to tack this off and drag it in right here. So move that up so you can kind of see it. And that is it. So now the slot's already in there because we just copy and pasted it. And this is now saved to slot. Compile and save. So at this point, we want to go ahead and open the next level in the game. So we're going to drag off the save game to slot. And we're going to type in open level. And we're going to open up level 2. So just type in level 2. Once again, this has to match exactly what you named the level before. Compile and save this. And this should be basically all we need for this level 1 load to work. All right. So we have this all set up. Now we need to drop this into level 1. So go ahead and hop it over level 1. So click on our levels menu, level one, bring level one up, save game, click on our level one load and drag it into the world. Try and get it sort of on the area here. And we're going to put it behind our enemy. So we have to kill our enemy to get to the next level. So we'll bring it here sort of try and make sure that it's centered so that your player will actually hit it. And that looks about good. So we're going to hit save current and we're going to hit play and see what happens here. So we got to kill the guy over here. We're just going to kill him with kunai since they're OP in this game. 
and jump on over him. So now we see our little black box. So when we run into our little black box, it's going to click and it's going to load us into level 2 just like that. How awesome is that? And we're on to our next level. However, there's no little black box in level 2, so we're just going to get to the end and it won't actually do anything. So there's, there's no level box to load us into the next level. So if we go ahead and hit escape to get out of this, we're going to fix that issue right now. So for level 1 load, all you're going to do is right click it and we're going to click duplicate and we're going to call it level 2 load. Double click on it and the only thing we need to change on this is we need to change the variable that we're drawing right here. So click on this to get rid of this level 1 set here that we have, right? The same exact code. We're going to head over to the section where we're setting level 1, delete that. What we want to do is we want to set level 2 as complete. Drag in the nodes exactly as they were connected before. Make sure we check the box to true, compile, and save. The other thing we want to do is we want to load level 3 when we hit this box as well. So type in level 3, compile, save, head back over to our main browser area over here. If we go ahead and minimize this and we go over to the levels, we want to load level 2. Level 2, we want to do the same thing with that box. We want to go to our save game, drag in our level 2 load, drop it onto the floor here. I think I missed pretty bad. Oh yeah, I missed real bad. Way out there. Delete that. And we're going to put this up here. Try and get this right on here. This could take me a second. Sorry. There we go. Got it that time. Well, not quite. That's still a little bit off, but you get the idea. Eventually I'll figure this out and get it in the right place. And bring it up and bring it over. All right. I think we're good there. I think that is good. It's inside of the collision box. So Control shift s to save everything. And now if we hit play on level two, it will take us over to level three. In fact, we don't even have to kill the guy. We can just run by him and it'll take us to level three where the block is moved again. Super simple. So we're going to escape out of that. So now we need to go and show you in the file browser where this gets saved. So I created the file path here. As you can see, it's in my D drive and then I have a separate folder for UB4, YouTube side scroll. And if you go to the saved folder, you will see the folder for save games. Then from there you can see the YouTube Tut save game. So make sure you have this file directory figured out on yours. I don't know exactly where it's going to be on your computer. Like I said, I have mine set up to automatically put everything into the D drive. For you, it'll likely be on the C drive if you have a different computer set up or if you've been saving it somewhere. Figure it out where you have it saved. This is where the save file is. If you want to check your system, you're going to have to delete that save file manually. So we've got all that done, but if we go back to level one and we click level one, it's still just going to do the same thing. It's going to load us into level one. We hit play. We run to the end, we hit the little box, all is good, it loads us to level 2. We want to be able to select what level we go to. So, we have the pause menu that takes us back to the main menu, and we have this load game button that doesn't do anything yet. So what we're going to do is make that button do something. So to get there, we have to go to our widgets menu, where we have the menus, and then we have the main menu. On the main menu, we're going to go to this load button, and we're going to go ahead and bind an event on click. To do that, scroll to the menu on the right side of the screen here, and click the on clicked option. So when we click this button, we have a lot we need to do. First, we need to do that whole save and load game check. If you want to do it super quickly, open up this menu here where we have like a level one load and just drag all of the information off of this, control C, and we're just going to drop it into this button menu right here. So go ahead and drop it all in and boom, everything is right there. So we don't need to cast the 2D side scroller character, so we can delete that a little bit and we just need to connect right here. So when you click this button, create a save game, Set it to the save game that we've created. Does a save game exist already? If not, we don't have a save game already, so we're going to create a new save game. And all we need to do to this is we need to load level, load, or open level, I apologize. Open level, and we're going to open level 1 back up, so level 1. All right, so that's basically saying, hey, you clicked load game, but you don't actually have a save game already created. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, when we hit compile and save, these things kind of had an error because they were pulled from a previous blueprint. So what we need to do is delete them and go ahead and promote to variable. And we can just call them new variable zero. We don't even need to go that crazy about it. Click, drag it in, drag it in, basically reconnect the nodes. Same thing with this one up here. Just go ahead and delete it, promote to variable, drag it into its two places that it goes here and here, bring it down a little bit so it goes underneath that and connect those two suckers back in. So all we had to do was basically replace the variable because it didn't exist on this blueprint yet. So super simple fix right there. All right, so now what we need to do is we don't want to load the game from slot. We don't want to load these levels here. We're not going to change them, I guess, is basically what we're trying to get. So we're going to go ahead and click this, drag this bit off because we have a lot of uh, work to do here. So start by disconnecting these nodes here, all of these nodes that are between these. You can actually just delete this one right here and delete this one with a alt left click to get rid of that. 
Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get level 1 complete, and then we want to have a get level 2 complete, and we're not going to do a level 3 complete yet because we don't have an actual level 4 to go on to, so we're just going to do level 1 and level 2 complete. So from here we need to add a branch, and we need to add a branch. We're going to do a little cascading branch work here. So connect the false to there. Actually, that's a lie. We're going to do the true. So couldn't uh, alt click to get rid of that. Alt click to get rid of that. Okay. We're going to go off of the true. So connect this set node here to the branch. Is level 1 complete? Yes. Is level 2 complete? So what is this doing? Is level 1 complete? Is it not complete? Then you better load level 1. So open level and we're going to open level 1. All right. So now if we went down to this, okay, so level 1's complete. Is level 2 complete? No. Then we're going to have to open level and we want to open level 2. Is level 2 complete? Yes. Then we're going to go ahead and open level and we want to open level 3. And that is basically it right there. So compile and save that. Okay, I got a good distance further into the video and then realized that I screwed up and that I changed this main menu even though title menu is the actual variable that's used when we do the main menu. So if you go ahead and click on main menu, bring that back up, and we're just going to copy over all the code that we just created on this one. So take that, control C, and we need to open that into the title menu folder, and then we need to go to the load game once again, scroll down, hit the on click button on the right over here, and drop that back in. We need to connect these nodes, and we're going to need to do the same thing with those two variables when we hit control S. Compile and save. We're going to have the same problem with those two variables. So once again, just delete them, promote to variable, right click, promote to variable, and reconnect. Same thing with the one up above up here. Right click, delete, and promote to variable. Connect in these two nodes right here, and connect it up like that. So now it'll work when we go to show you the next part. So, as I had already told you before, you're going to need to go to that folder that you see here and go to your save game, and you're going to need to delete that save game to be able to test this to see if it worked. Now, if we go back to our main menu here and hit play, it's going to say, would you like to start a new game or do you want a load game? If you hit load game, it's going to start you at level 1 because we don't have anything in level 1 saved here. So, jump over this, jump to level 2. So now the game is saved that level 1 is complete. So if we hit the P menu and we hit quit, and we go to new game, New game is going to start us back at level 1. If we hit P, quit, go to load game, load game starts us back at level 2. So we jump back over this, and we can hit this, and boom, now we're at level 3. If we hit P, quit, new game starts us back at level 1. If we hit P, quit, and we go to load game, starts us at level 3. So uh, that is our saving and loading system fully functioning, guys. We're going between our different levels as we see fit. The only issue that we have here is that to delete it, you need to go into the file system, but that'll be fixed in a later video when we get more saving and loading stuff handled and dealt with. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. I am excited to be doing this series again. It is a lot of fun to figure these out and make these videos for you. So if you are new to this series, uh, please consider subscribing as it does help the channel grow. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Peace.